How's it going? My name is Pagona and welcome to the very first episode of Jurassic World Evolution, a game that has been on my wish list for God knows how long now. Um, the reason that I started back um, at the start of this year is because of the hype for this game, um, along with some of the other games that are out. Sorry about the noise, there's a, a dog in my room. Hello. Um, but yeah, that is one of the reasons I started back. Unfortunately, as usual, university got in the way, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm playing this game. Um, I've been watching E3. Uh, E3 is full of games that I want to play, um, announcements and all that that are just awesome. Um, Last of Us Part 2 looked incredible. Um, Death Stranding, Spider-Man PS4. Yeah, loads of them. Loads of them. Um, it's to the point that I'm now going to buy a... Uh, a capture card so I can record on a PlayStation 4 and that way um, it just kind of gives me more options for games to uh, to play in the future on the channel but uh, yeah I'm just gonna dive right in I've only just woken up um, and I was like the game's out need to play need to play what are you doing what are you doing dogs attacking my foot right Let's dive right in. Um, not checked any settings. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the deluxe content. Um, there is a possibility I, I might buy it at some point. But for now, I'm going to leave it. It's a shame, really, because I do what would love every single dancer in this game. But we'll see. For now, new game. Oh, Dr. E. Come. Hello. May I say Ooh. welcome? My name is Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well... Correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. <laughs> Saki. He's a Saki boy. Okay, oh. this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla... Matanceros. Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. All right. So I've not done any of the tutorial stuff whatsoever for this game. Um, I've literally just loaded it up. So. Um, most of this stuff is new to me. I thought that was a. a I'm Cabot Finch, oh. public relations and crisis management, crashed and I'm here to help you. Then. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. Right. Let's see building. We've already started on an enclosure mm -hmm. for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what a lad! I love him already. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is path. the lingo of choice around here. And I'm guessing it will need electricity. You'll Something need to like connect it, it yeah. to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Okay. Now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. I've got no power. We'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select a creation lab it? and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome so. data for your first viable <laughs> dinosaur. Okay. Okay, okay. Getting my head around it. Incubate dinosaur and Struthiomimus. 65%. Not bad, not bad. How much money do we have? We've got 2 million. We've got plenty of money. Plenty of money. Um, okay, so you do, you do get some starter dinos, it's just, they're not quite complete yet, I think you need 50% to do, yeah. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws, what can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor, you know do we've it. learned so much. And invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch. Yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. You've got a point. Oh. Failed to hatch. Oh. Why? Oh. 
That's sad. What a waste. <laughs> okay. Ready for release. Release dinosaur. And here we go. Our first dinosaur. Look at him. He's adorable. It begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, just chaos. The detail on these dinosaurs living, is ridiculous. Breathing, thinking being, an entity. But distinct. The whole map itself looks gorgeous, we, but like the dinosaurs, you, they look amazing, it's ridiculous. Them. I don't understand. So well done. How they've done it? I Ground camera. Okay, so you got two camera modes. You got ground camera, which just kind of follows it from below, and then the free camera. You can kind of go all round it and really get in there to see like the details and stuff. That's cool. And then you got the dinos statistics, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it's not overpopulated yet. Social needs are are well met. Health is good. Food it needs food. Okay. Right. What were we supposed to do? The Hammond Foundation has three <laughs> main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Okay. Can I read more? Okay. Well, security is always good. No matter what. And after every single Jurassic Park movie, or Jurassic World movie, security tends to be the thing that lacks, really. Um, entertainment, you're going to make your visitors happy. And science, I'm guessing, gives you more... Opportunities to make more dinosaurs and um, do all the DNA processing and stuff faster and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, science is cool, security is cool, but we're here for the guests. Yeah. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees exactly. it? Exactly. Don't answer. This kind of gets it's it. Rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. It's got a... Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what happened. Um, for some reason, the recording just cut off. Um, I selected the entertainment contract. Uh, built an expedition center, as you can see here. Uh, didn't do much else. That's literally all I did. Um, so you didn't miss too much, but I've got to keep an eye on that again. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, so Expedition Center, you can send dig teams around the world. Um, you just click on an available dig team and it will pop up with an icon. Okay, cool. So let's do it. Can I do it? View Expedition Map. Ooh. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? Not too bad. I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> Let's do it. Ceratosaurus. I think we can do that. Start mission. Edmonta. All right. Look, I am all about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. In the hopper. Let's do it. Good. Uh, Your first expedition to Don't know how long this takes. Oh, they'll two minutes. bring back okay. what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Ooh. Research. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? 
which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs. It is a big circle. A, a circle massive of life. circle. Development and a very long-winded circle, but, you know. See? Simple. Okay, so this is literally just like Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Um, we've already got a Struthiomimus. Um, we need a Ceratosaurus, so we'll extract the DNA of that. Um, we have got plenty of money, so I mean, we may... We may as well do all of them, to be fair. Trike, Edmontosaurus, and do all of them. And they're all queued up, which is good. Um, expenses, not great at the moment per minute, but that's only because we're extracting DNA. Um, I'm guessing these are the, the five islands. Looking good. Islapina is going to be um, <laughs> a tricky one. It's tiny. Look at it. God. This is going to be... This is going to be a fun game. It's going to be a very fun game, I think. Got minutes. Okay, let's just go... Oh, it's raining. How's our little streak doing? Can we incubate more? Uh, we can modify the genome. What does this mean? Attack. Oh, that's cool. And these two are restricted. That is very cool. It's going to take a little bit of time to get my uh, oh, head around all of this, but we got this. Stratosaurus is 48% now, same with the trike. I'm guessing Edmontosaurus is next. Uh, let's see if we can incubate another one. We're just spending money here. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Oh, high quality. Here we go. You should do it. In gen. So these are all our dinos. Look at him. Shame we can't rotate around them. It'd be nice to see the models like this, but can't complain. So there are 37 dinosaurs at the moment. And I don't think they include the... Um, Hey. Um. Yeah, I don't think they include the uh, like the pre-order bonus ones. So we'll see. I do want to get it, but we'll see. Oh, look at him! He's got a friend now, wherever he is. You know what? He needs food. Uh, enclosures. Creation fences, gate, ground herbivore feeder. Okay. Viewing gallery. Oh. Like us, different dinosaurs require yeah. different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Okay. Okay. It's cool. Oh, there he goes. He's adorable. Right. What are we supposed to be doing now? Um, can we open the park? Operational. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Can we? We can't move them. At least not yet. I'm just trying to think of where we can where we can go from here. <clears throat> it looks like they've already got like a little pre-built area here. So if we make a fence.
Is that a gate? No, that's a gate. Now, that's not massively curved. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's... I'm going to have to look into how to make like proper curved fences. Uh, oh, there you go. Space, toggle curved. Okay, I'm going to leave this one as it is for now. Um, stick a gate here, I suppose. Um, it's quite a small enclosure. Can I... Landscape. No water. Let's get rid of some of this, just so he's got some actual landscape to you know, walk on. Oh, it's such a cool, cool game. I love it so much. <laughs> um, just round off the edges. There we go. Um, where are we going? Operations. We are probably going to need a ranger station at some point. We are running out of money quite quickly though, so... God, these are huge. What are we supposed to do with this? <sighs> See, this is nice. I like this enclosure. This could be the herbivore enclosure. So we can spawn a bunch of them in here. I am slightly going over my, uh, my time limit here, I think. But, um... Now we've got this. I'm going to... This is going to be a really rough way of doing it. I'm going to do that. We are going to incubate two Ceratosauruses, hopefully. Nope. Back. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, they're expensive. You know what? I think we might actually run out of money. Um, control room. Missions, reputation, navigation, expedition map. It just costs a bit of money. Everything costs a bit of money. <laughs> um, here we go, here's our little guy. Look at him. I don't know why he's looking down that way and not forward, but yeah. Um, three meters tall, weighs a ton. 10 meters long, that's ridiculous. Okay. Let's see if we've got our guy yet. That's our expedition center. Research the center. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more Ooh. await. Okay, okay. I'm saying okay a lot. I'm just getting my head around it. Enclosures. Electrified fence. That is something that we are probably going to need. We need to make some money first, though. Where's the uh, the, the Samsung Innovation Center? There it is. I wonder if it's actually got the Samsung logo on. Is it Samsung? I think it's like Samsung. Um, how's our guy doing? 85%. Here we go. Dinosaur number two. Any second there. Swear it. Errors. Hey. Release dinosaur. Right, he's going to be pretty pissed off when we first uh, realise how much room he's got to run around. Wow, he is gorgeous. Just, yeah, everything about this game is just going moment. Like, I've not noticed any bugs. Everything just looks happy pretty. Yeah. He's not a happy by bunny. Sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos. Just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> am I right? Easy. Always saying am I right. He needs to chill out. Um, this is Lambert, head of security. Yours, 
theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control yeah. while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit yeah, them totally do we want without to exploit taking them? some chances. Really? I mean... I don't see how increasing the island rating to one star makes the science and enter uh, entertainment division go down. But... I might as well accept this because it doesn't actually affect anything really. Uh, and we get 200,000... Um, okay. 200,000 reward. Um, probably doesn't outweigh the cost of the fast food restaurant and the research center but you know <laughs> um right so we need to somehow get this guy Full power station fossil sensor expedition research we need a that's what we need I do like that it shows you uh, where, where it can go. That is pretty cool. I don't want to take it up too much room though, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. Build a path. Is it going to need a path? Yes, it does. And now, hopefully, we can we go to enclosures. Okay. What would he want? These... Was it three meters tall? That's quite tall. How is a live bait feeder cheaper than a carnivore feeder? Okay, a bit of live bait then. Why not? We'll quickly get this done. We are running out of money very quickly. Very, very quickly. Um, how much... This is a fast food restaurant. Okay, we, we can get away with that. We can get away with that. Uh, just trying to think of where I want this stuff. Oh. Um, still recording. Just double checking. Right, we need to end this soon. You've got power. I know you've got power. Do you give it power? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this is going to get a little bit confusing. Wait, wait, wait. Converse power for use for nearby... Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. I'm cool with that. What? So that was kind of simple. Um, can I pick stuff up? Ooh, okay. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more He's generally. and almost the there. Specific. Almost there. It doesn't quite sound like Chris Pratt, but you know. What I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. Done. Right. Um... Let's see if we can quickly pilot the helicopter. Why not? Good way to end the episode. Uh, now that it's like 25 minutes long or something. Right, space to take off. Space to ascend. Oh, 
Oh god. Uh, hey. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Pilot. Alright, dark rifle. That's a hit. Is he going down? Come on, go down, boy. There we go. Oh, no. Bless him. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Right. Uh, can we, like, can we lift him? I don't think we can lift him. She's gone horribly I'm wrong. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Oh. Right, that went horribly wrong. We need wrong. to give dinosaurs um, the right environment if they're going to thrive. I know that. I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move them, but it's not happening. Right, I'm going to figure out how to move. The offshore Shh. transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're, we're getting some money back. Um, who's the offshore? Right. I'm going to sort this out next episode. Um, I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, expect a lot more to come. I just want to keep playing this game. Just want to keep playing. Probably won't. I need to finish doing stuff today. But um, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to like and subscribe. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the little bell notification button. Um, that way you get constant notifications every time I upload a new video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.